Girls. Welcome to reading day one. Well, it's like day, I'm not even sure. But um, today is a fun, really fun reading lesson, one of my favorite things. And I uh, have chosen polar bears. I know I showed you sharks before, and we've talked about the safari book, but I wanted to go back to polar bears. Today's teaching point is when readers dramatize nonfiction books, it keeps them interested, okay? So your job today, um, I could first of all tell fantastic job to some of you with your notes on your books that you've been taking. Super work. Now, um, what I would really like for you to work on today, make sure you have a nonfiction book, nonfiction book, Okay, nonfiction book for the whole reading um, unit if you have one. If you don't, you can go on Epic or I put a link on there for some nonfiction books. Um, and I want to talk about why it's important to dramatize when you read nonfiction. Okay, so we are going to, I'm going to show you some of this story that I have here. And we, of course, have the table of contents. And I'm going to show you what dramatizing means. Okay? It can mean with your voice. which And we did this with our realistic fiction writing. Okay? And our realistic fiction books. And our fiction books, I think. So, we are going to share our books by dramatizing them. Okay? I'm white and furry. And I swim in the sea. The... Cold snow and ice are just right for me. Who am I? A polar bear. Have you seen a polar bear in the zoo? Polar bears are big, really big. They are the biggest meat eaters on land. A polar bear can weigh as much as seven men. Boys and girls. Do you notice how I'm dramatizing things to make sure I remember and understand and that you do? Yeah, that's all you're going to do today. I want you to read through your books and practice dramatizing them. I'm going to put a video on Flipgrid of me dramatizing a different nonfiction book and you can upload yours there. I can't wait to see it. It's going to be awesome. And I want you to also think about what would happen if we didn't dramatize nonfiction books. Why, why would we dramatize nonfiction books? I want you to think about that for a second and tell someone at home. And then I want you to also tell me before you start your dramatization on Flipgrid. All right. Have a great day, guys.